in earlier videos we had seen how to find loop in a linked list and one of the algorithms we used was Floyd's loop detection algorithm to find if loop exists in a linked list or not so in this uh, video we will go one step ahead and we will also find out what is the starting of the loop or the first element of the loop so for example in this case we start traversing from the head and two is part of the loop one is not part of the loop next element is two and it is part of the loop so we have to find that first element so we will use again Floyd's loop detection algorithm only we will just modify that a little bit so remember in uh, Floyd's loop detection uh, uh, the slow and fast pointers meet at some point so uh, let's run uh, that algo on this so after one step slow will be here next step here similarly uh, after first step fast will be here and second step fast will be here now in the third step fast will be 6 and then 2 and slow will be at 4 next step slow will be at 5 and fast will be at 4 next step fast will be at 6 and slow will be at 6 so this slow and fast pointers meet here now what we have to do we have to keep one of the pointers here and move other to the head so let's keep fast pointer here and move slow so slow is now pointing to head once we detected the loop this is the place where they met so now move slow here and keep fast here now we will increment both the pointers by one step so what we will do run fluids loop detection when slow and fast pointers meet what we will do we will assign slow pointer to head and but we will not uh, change the fast pointer now while slow is not equal to fast So the place where they meet they will meet again will be the starting of the node uh, loop so just print slow dot data or doesn't matter you can print fast dot data as well So, uh, so now from once they meet I, I have moved slow pointer here and fast is here so I will advance both of these by one step so I am advancing both by one step so before detecting the loop I was advancing fast by two step and slow by one step but 
once they meet we uh, increment both of these by one step and so slow moves here and fast comes here so it has in this case it has met in the first step only but let's look at some other example so that it's more clear and let's say 7 next is 4 now again run uh, the algorithm so slow is here fast is here in the next step fast will come here and slow will come here then next step slow is here fast is at 5 next step fast will be at 7 and slow will be at 4 then next step slow is 5 and fast is it moves to 7 then again 5 So they meet at this slow and fast pointers meet here. Now I move the slow pointer here to the beginning. So now slow is reset to this and fast remains here and start incrementing one step. So 6 and slow moves to 2 then 7 slow moves to 3 then 4 and slow moves to 4 so they meet again here at 4 and this was the beginning of the loop so this is the algorithm uh, that is used to detect uh, the first element find the first element of the loop so let's write a code for that I will explain how, uh, why this algorithm works in more detail in next video it will take some time to understand why why this algorithm works so I will create a separate video for that so now let's code this thing find loop beginning so the initial part of the code will be same as our loop detection algorithm so we have slow pointer initialized to head and we have another fast pointer initialized to head we can add some quick checks like if head is null or heads next is null return and that's not required we are assuming its value so we can always add these checks So while slow is there, fast is there and fast next is there. So as I explained earlier, we need to check for the next of fast also because we will be using fast next and also incrementing that. So if fast next is null, then we if we go on uh, finding its next, then uh, it, it will we will get segmentation fault because this is a null pointer and we are trying to access that. So now, so now when slow and fast meet, we can break out of this loop. But uh, when it breaks out of this while loop, it's either because they met somewhere 
in in the case where there was actually a loop in the list or there may be that there was no loop and the fast pointer reached the end and we uh, broke out of this while loop so we need to check uh, if slow is not equal to fast this will be the case where no loop exists then we can print no loop and we will also return because we need don't need to process further there is no loop now this was the case where no loop exists now when loop exists so that is slow is equal to fast so what we have to do we have to initialize one of the pointers to head and again run this loop while slow not equal to fast so I have moved slow to the head and I will advance both slow and fast by one step and uh, we are very certain that they will meet again because we have already checked that loop exists in the list and from uh, according to Floyd's algorithm it will meet again at the beginning of the loop so now this loop will only terminate when slow is equal to fast and in that case we can go ahead and print what is the value of the node there So currently, so we should comment out this code. So first, let's check what is the linked list. So this is the linked list we have. So this has no loop. So if we just run find loop beginning on this list, let's see. It should print there is no loop. okay so so head is valid its next is valid oh I have given a wrong condition here it should be not of this Now let's run again. So it correctly prints there is no loop. Now we will enable this loop. Create loop and what we had done in the loop we had made a current is head so currents next we reach the end of the loop linked list and made its next point to second node so the now 3 is pointing to 20 so 20 is the beginning of the loop so now again if we run this it should print 20 because we have added this loop so the first loop element is 20 so it correctly prints this so this was a very useful algorithm when we want to find what is the first element of the loop we can uh, additionally modify this also to remove the loop so thanks for watching and uh, give your valuable feedbacks and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you